Hi there. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the vFairs virtual conference platform. We'll look at some past events that we've hosted to give you an idea of what's possible and what you can expect from our solution. So let's get straight into it. First off, let's talk about where your virtual event will take place and how you can get your attendees to learn more about your online conference. For this, we will work with you to set up an event landing page. While you can completely customize your page to make it your own, we have a number of beautiful event templates to give you a running start. The landing page is fully branded with the logo of your conference or your organization. Apart from the date and time of the event, you can also add any other detail that describes your conference and motivates users to sign up. You can include the agenda, promote your sponsors, highlight exhibitors that are participating, and you can also add some frequently asked questions. This landing page can be hosted on a vFair subdomain or a completely custom URL of your choice. Next up, let's take a look at how you'll be able to capture registrations of users that are planning to attend the event. The good news is there's a lot of flexibility we offer when it comes to registration. Option one, capture registration with a customized form for attendees with form fields of your choice. First name, last name, industry, email address, you name it. Option number two, if you already have the list of registered users, you can opt for a data import. Option three, we leverage our Zapier integration to hook our registration platform with any third-party provider you may be using. And finally, option four, we integrate with a single sign-on service of your choice. What's more, we also enable payment integrations with PayPal and Stripe to collect registration fees from your attendees. All right, now let's get to the fun part. When attendees log into your virtual event, they are first transported to the virtual lobby, an online space that welcomes the attendees entering a conference. The lobby is designed using a conventional 2D web design, offering visitors quick links to enter the different areas of the event. If you're looking at more customizable options, we offer services to replicate any design you might have in your mind or can propose something from scratch. After the user reaches the lobby, they have four main areas that they can navigate to. The auditorium, the exhibit hall, networking room, and help desk. And we'll go through each one of them one by one. Let's start with the virtual auditorium. The virtual auditorium is where your conference agenda is hosted and it lists all the speakers that are scheduled to present at your event. Over here, you can add the speaker's name, bio, picture, as well as handouts that attendees can download before or after the session. Your speakers can host live webinars and deliver concurrent sessions with our embedded Zoom module. They can also run live posts and Q&A during the sessions. These webinars can also be conducted with real-time translation into multiple languages. In case you're broadcasting in real time from a physical venue, we've got you covered there as well. Next up, we've got the exhibit hall, which is essentially a collection of booths hosted by your exhibitors, vendors, partners, or sponsors, and it's a place where your audience can interact and engage with them. When an attendee clicks on any one of these booths, they can learn more about a particular exhibitor or sponsor. There are four main features within virtual booths. Let's start with branding. Each virtual booth can be branded with a unique logo and can display diverse avatars that every sponsor exhibitor can select from. Next up, unlimited content. Each exhibitor can have multiple external links and dedicated tabs to host their exhibitor profile, videos, documents, presentations, and more. Attendees can add anything of interest to their virtual or swag bag so that once the event is over, they can go ahead and have all of these saved documents emailed to them and they could review these later on as well. With this, we've wrapped up branding and unlimited content, which brings me to the next point. Any attendee of the event can easily chat with the sponsors by using our embedded chat feature that allows the users to communicate over a group text conversation or even one-on-one -on -one private chat rooms that have audio and video call capabilities. In addition to that, attendees could also pre-book meetings with exhibitors according to the time slots that are available on a first-come, first-served basis. In case they cannot reach the sponsors, there's always the option of leaving their business card or leaving them an offline message. And now for the last feature on the booth, everything I walked you through is tracked and reported. Once the event is over, you get analytics on every booth visit, click, download, and every chat archive is given back to you and your sponsors so they can track the lead capture and they can track return on investment. Now let's move on to the third important section, which is the networking lounge. In some conferences, you might want your attendees to interact with each other as well and exchange information. 
the lounge launches the same chat interface, but here your attendees can chat with one another instead of just with exhibitors. Attendees can search people of interest and they can book one-on-one -on -one text, audio, or video calls to network. They can also join pre-created chat rooms or roundtables to discuss certain topics around your conference. In addition to these, your event attendees can also make use of our matchmaking solution to expand their networking opportunities. Next, the final piece is the information desk or the hub desk. This is where participants can communicate with you as an event organizer. Moreover, there's also a technical hub desk where your attendees and exhibitors can directly reach out to us for any technical support required. We offer users to get in touch through a live chat, a direct phone line, or through an email address dedicated to your event. This support is available to you as an event organizer and also to your event attendees, sponsors, and speakers. That sums up the core components of the virtual conference platform. I'll give you a quick tour of a couple more things that are worth mentioning. We provide tools to boost engagement at your event through different gamification mechanisms. The first method involves running live leaderboards. A leaderboard allows you to grant virtual points to users for carrying out certain activities. For example, you might want to give points to users who register early or attend a certain keynote session and so on. The leaderboard is visible to all users and they can see where they rank at all times. Then it's up to you as an event organizer to decide how you want to reward them. You can give away different prizes like Amazon gift cards, iPads, Apple Watches, you name it. Another gamification mechanism we support is a scavenger hunt. In a scavenger hunt, you can give users certain clues and ask them to find objects or images hidden across the pages of your event. You can then reward them based on their discovery. Here's an example of a scavenger hunt. And bear in mind that these could be virtually anything you can think of. This will encourage users to explore more areas of the virtual event and register higher engagement. Next up on the list of making your event more engaging is the virtual photo booth. You can dial up participation by allowing attendees to take creative selfies with different backgrounds and filters. They can enter the photo gallery to view and like other attendees' pictures. Last up, you can also view real-time reactions with a social media wall. This feature allows you to fill in social media posts with specific hashtags from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more directly into your virtual conference. Next, a bit about reporting. The great thing about virtual events is the fact that everything is tracked and measurable. You can quickly find out who logged in, how many people visited each booth, which webinars were the most popular, and so on. You provide a backend reporting area which you can access and get stats in real time. What's more, we even deliver a shareable PDF report after the event is over that summarizes your event's main metrics. You can then share these stats with your exhibitors and sponsors so that they can understand the kind of engagement they got. That sums up the platform's capabilities. Let's take one minute to talk about the process. So if you were to sign up with us, we'll first assign a dedicated project manager and customer success manager to your event. They'll work alongside you to get your event set up and manage the entire process. Our backend interface and easy to use wizards will allow you to get your landing pages, registration forms, and sessions set up by yourself. Our reps, however, will guide you should you have any additional questions and are happy to assist with more custom or complex workflows. Our project managers will also work with your speakers to see if they need any training to record videos or deliver their webinars. We also provide all the tools you need to help your exhibitors set up their respective booths themselves. We provide an easy and very simple self-service system that will take them through a step-by-step -step wizard to set up their booths from choosing templates, adding videos, images, and configuring the settings. And of course, if they need any assistance, our team will be happy to give them a hand. And yes, that would be at no additional cost. For vFairs, the idea is not to just provide you with rock solid technology, but also to ensure you run a successful event by acting as your consultant. Now, there are hundreds of companies that have used our platform. This includes organizations like T-Mobile, Nestle, Cadence, and Cornell University, and so on. You can jump on Captera and G2 and Gartner to see their reviews on our technology and post-sales support. We're also very happy to give you any of these references in case you want to reach out to them directly and learn more about how it was really like working with vFairs. And that's it. I hope this demo was useful and gave you an idea of what vFairs can do for you. If you have any further questions, please reach out to us at sales at Thank you for watching.